Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today I'm going to give you a very quick tip about software that's installed on your computer, especially how to know the latest software installed. And the reason why this is important is the fact that if somebody installs something on your computer or if you went on the web and you think you might have some software that installed itself that could be malware, one of the best way to actually check for anything new is in the programs and features to check for the list in order of date. So for example, you go on your start button, right click. Here you will go into programs and features. Now you have a list of all the software and now this is only the programs installed. These aren't. There's no apps in here. Apps are separate. They are a separate thing, and they don't appear in this uh, uninstall or change a program. By default, pretty much everything installed in the computer is installed by name. So it means that you see what you have here in alphabetical order. But if you go and check installed on you can actually click here and you'll see that now you have installed on there are two ways you can do it if you click once it will be by uh, decreasing order if you click a second time you'll see that now it's increasing order it means that you have the oldest first and as you go through the list you have the one that's been installed the latest way down at the bottom. So make sure that you have it. I usually like the fact that the latest software installed is on the top of the list. So here you see everything that was installed by date. And that's nice because if you have a problem starting say uh, 1st of May, well you will actually check everything that was installed after on or after the 1st of May by checking it by date. So here I can see, for example, since the 1st of May, I've got Microsoft Office 365 on May 1st. I've got Adobe Shockwave Player installed on 12th and Microsoft Silverlight also on the 12th. So this shows you that these are the latest pieces of software that were installed. Now, if you are using this because of malware, one word of caution, there are malware, and there's a lot of it, that just don't show up in the uninstall or change a program. So there's another trick for that that you can use that could be interesting. And uh, I'm going to show you that in another video uh, that I'm going to make. So this is the easy way out if you are looking at, um, you know, what was installed in the last few days or weeks, the best thing you can do is just go here in the programs and features and in uninstall a program or change a program, just click above the installed on and you will change that. And you know, while we are here, there are different things you can do. If you're looking for a piece of software from a particular company, well, you can click by publisher. It's going to give you the alphabetical list of all pub publishers that made the software. You can also, if you want, for example, to make space on your hard drive, click by size and it's going to give you the biggest software first, what takes the most space on your computer and slowly go down to the smallest pieces of software. Now, be careful because there's a lot of software that's installed that actually doesn't have any size uh, in this list. You can also click by version. That's not super useful usually. Uh, usually what's very useful is by date installed and also by name so that you have an alphabetical list or you'll have a list depending on the date of installation of your software. So hope this helps in you finding whatever software you might want to uninstall on your computer. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature, a problem, something we can help you. Ask away and we'll try to help you if possible. Maybe even make a video and we'll be helping others at the same time. So thank you for watching.